close. Oh, he's over the line. Now, did he control it? Try is given. Sweet Alrighty, welcome everyone. Uh, my name's Michael Stolberg. I'm a, the lock for the Northern Tanifa. Uh, today with me I have our special guest, our new head coach, Richie Harris. Richie, welcome, mate. Thanks, Stolberg. No worries. Uh, firstly, would you like to tell everyone what drew you to the job at Northern? Uh, an opportunity to do professional coaching. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was an aspiration to, to go in that direction in my life, and uh, Northern provided an opportunity. So. Beauty, beauty, it's good to have you up here. Yeah. Um, before we continue, I'd just like to thank everyone for their Facebook questions. I know I didn't say it before the first one, but I am Australian, so forgive me. Uh, the second question a, a lovely Facebook viewer sent us is, uh, tell us a bit about what you were doing before you came up to Northam. Uh, previously, I was a teacher, uh, deputy principal at a secondary school down in uh, Glen in Northam. Oh, fantastic. Uh, Tamaki College, so that's where I cut my teeth for 22 years. Oh. Beautiful. All right. All right. Well, we know you're going to be good at discipline then. Yeah. Um, well, how did you get into coaching? Was it through your teaching? Or? Yeah. I, look, the school when that I started at, um, the main sport was rugby. So I got into that. And natural progression, I guess, the combination of rugby and teaching. So teaching and coaching. So I moved into rugby coaching, uh, first 15, and then uh, into rep stuff. Um, and now into the, into the professional environment. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, so how many years have you wanted to be a professional coach for and uh, and why the delay if it has been your ambition for a while? Probably probably started to really think about it about uh, 2011 after finishing with the Blue Series Schools uh, program and uh, therefore I knew I had to move into club rugby so I did some club rugby down in Auckland and uh, then waited for an opportunity which was presented. Fantastic. Now I know your answer to this question will change by the end of the year, mm -hmm. but uh, of all the players you've coached in your career today, who has been the most outstanding player and why? Well, I'd like to say you Stiley, but I haven't seen you play yet, yeah. so that's probably where the change is at the end of the, yeah, end absolutely. Of the season. Absolutely. Uh, look, uh, best, best born and bred North of Flat, uh, Jake Heaney, who was born here, he's currently playing, uh, born and bred here, he's currently playing in Connick. So Jake Heenan, um, best, uh, best school boys I know uh, from my school, uh, probably lots of George Moana, currently with the Blues, uh, Puliasi Manu, currently with the Chiefs, and Chua Haranukunu, currently with Tasman and in France. And probably the best international that I ever coached, another Northern born and bred boy, is Tim Salvi. So Tim was a rugby player when he was uh, down playing for Kings, but he's probably of all the players I've coached, he's gone the furthest than international. Well, I would like to say Tim Southey's my hero, but uh, with the way he destroyed us in Auckland earlier in the year, I'm not saying he's one of my favourite players. Uh, what is your first impression of the Northern team? Mate, uh, first time I sort of got in front of the boys was uh, a couple of weeks back, and you sort of get a feel for it. Uh, sometimes you don't always get a feel, and it's hard to pinpoint what that is. But uh, automatically got a, a good sense uh, the tightness of the group, uh, with the ITM boys and even the younger academy boys and school boys that, that were there. So yeah, I think that's really important up here, sort of how they how they knit together. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, we consider Northlanders who don't currently live in Northern, or you select only from Northern club players. I think it's a case by case scenario depending on position and what's, what's available. Uh, if all things being equal, you're picking something out of, out of the province. Uh, but it's also uh, looking to see whether the province can fill those positions up to an adequate ability. And if not, then, then you have to open your mind up to elsewhere. Absolutely. Uh, this one's a pretty, pretty tough one. Um, I'd like to say I'm a good example of the, the right way to do things. Uh, if you do get loan players, how will you make them care about Northland and make them understand what it means to wear the Cambridge blue? I think Stiley, we probably should have asked you did that question. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not touching that question. Okay. I, I, hopefully this shows everyone. <laughs> Mate, I reckon uh, you put them on a road trip. So you put them on a road trip from uh, Monday to Saturday. And uh, they're not allowed to stay in any hotel or paid accommodation. And they've got to go to two trainings in their week, a Tuesday and a Thursday, and they've got to be two different clubs. I think and then on Saturday, they've got to go watch the game. 
I think if anyone wants to know how to become a true Northland player, I think if you look, keep looking on YouTube and you find our uh, 24 hour challenge from last year, that'll show you how to be a true Cambridge Blue by the end of it. Uh, what is your main objective for the team? I think Darren and uh, George have left a really good platform for the team to continue developing, so the main objective is to keep moving forward with the boys. And, uh, if we can match or, or go past last year's results, certainly we're, we're in the right direction. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, now, it's true you've both, you've coached both prior brothers previously, Dan and, uh, and Cutter. Um, who's better? <laughs> and not better looking, because we know the answer to that one. Depends what it's at. Uh, Cutter will get a laugh at if it's a prone, running a prone hold, it's probably current. Yeah. But if it's playing rugby, I'd say, I'll, I'll, I'll take the diplomatic answer that play best when they're playing together. Oh, true. Very true. Very well done. And I'll, I'll have to throw this one out there, Carter. When you watch this, mate, you are a better 2K player than I am. Well done, you're the man. Uh, if you could have any one past Northland player from any era, who would you have and why? Yeah, I was thinking about this one today. It was over at a presentation over uh, in Carmel. And they had some pictures of some uh, ex Northland, North Auckland teams even. And uh, I was just looking through them. And just with all our injuries in the midfield at the moment, you know, we. we Seems like if you're a midfielder in Northland at the moment, you're injured. So I'd take uh, the late John, Joe Morgan. Uh, so ex Northland player, ex uh, ex All Black. Uh, so yeah, I'd take Joe in a, in a heartbeat. Hard. Back in those days when the, the centres were really hard. Um, what is your number one personal characteristic you believe it takes to be a top level rugby player? Uh, I'd say there's probably. Four. So one is honesty. Uh, two, you've got to be uh, have a passion for it. Three, be self-aware, and four, uh, be aware of details, make detail improvements. So those four things: honesty, passion. Uh, what was the third one? Style. Be aware, self-aware, and make detail improvements. Beautiful. Alrighty, well uh, thanks very much for that Richie, that's all the time we have, all the questions we have for you. Um, viewers remember to subscribe to our channel, I'm sure our new uh, video assistant Maddie will put a link up there for you, so you'll be all good with that and uh, we'll be bringing out new videos every week, hopefully I won't be hosting more because I am hopeless. Awesome, thank thanks you. Well. No worries, thanks guys.